didn't have a sale to create this. Southbound 680 over the Sonole grade. No place to be today. Absolutely packed from Pleasanton over the grade into Fremont. And eastbound 580 heading to Livermore. Traffic is backed up for miles. We'll be overhead shortly. But right now, I'd give serious thought to an alternate route. Every working day, commuters inch their way to their destinations on these vital arteries. Soon, this will change. For the better. The Bay Area's first hot lanes, or high occupancy toll lanes, are on the way. Called the Alameda County Express Lanes on 580 and 680, they'll give commuters a new choice to avoid traffic jams on I-580 and I-680. The I-680 Express Lane spans 14 miles over the Sunol Grade between Pleasanton and Milpitas. It's expected to open in 2010. The I-580 eastbound express lanes will extend 10 miles from Pleasanton to Livermore in 2011. Why are these express lane projects so important to commuters? For the first time, solo drivers have a choice to avoid traffic congestion by paying a toll to use the carpool lane. So when solo motorists need to save time, they can, up to 17 minutes according to recent studies. Carpools, motorcycles, and permitted hybrids can continue to use the lanes for free. Improving traffic flow in the regular freeway lanes is also a benefit of the express lane project. When solo drivers choose to pay a toll and use the express lane, regular freeway lanes move more freely. This helps keep traffic flowing, improves safety, and also keeps violators from darting in and out of the lane. Finally, the express lane tolls are a new revenue source, generating funds for public transit improvements along the 680 and 580 corridors. So, how do solo drivers use these express lanes? Let's join a commuter and find out. Mary has an important meeting this morning. She can't be late and doesn't want to wait in I-680's traffic. So, even though she's alone in her car, today she's choosing to pay a toll to use the express lane. If Mary can't be late going home on I-580, she would have two new eastbound express lanes to use if she chooses. Unlike many carpool lanes in the Bay Area, the Alameda County express lanes on 680 and 580 will have limited access points. As she approaches one of the entry points, she sees that the current toll is $4. That's fine with her. Mary enters the lane without even slowing down. That's because she has Fast Track, the same electronic toll collection system that's used on Bay Area bridges. It electronically deducts the current toll from her prepaid account. No toll booth, no delay. As an added benefit, she can use her Fast Track to pay bridge tolls. If Mary had a passenger in her car, she would temporarily remove the Fast Track transponder to avoid the toll because carpools are still free in the express lane. Here's how Mary would enter the I-580 express lanes. Even though Mary paid $4 for this trip, the express lane toll varies depending on the amount of traffic in the lanes. It's called dynamic pricing. Tolls go up as lane use increases and are lowered when traffic volume decreases. Dynamic pricing assures that traffic in the express lanes always move at least 55 miles per hour. Once you're in the lane, the amount displayed when you entered is the one you pay. The Alameda County Express lanes on 580 and 680 are the first of their kind in the Bay Area. But the commuting public says it's ready. A recent survey found 64% support the 680 and 580 express lanes. In fact, similar express lanes have been successfully implemented across the United States. There's the 91 express lanes connecting Orange and Riverside counties the I-15 express lanes in San Diego, as well as the I-394 express lanes in the Minneapolis area. These projects have proven to be fast, safe, and reliable. The East Bay is growing fast, and its traffic problems are getting worse. With innovative solutions like the Alameda County express lanes on 580 and 680, we can keep traffic moving, protect our economic strength, and generate new revenues to improve public transit. Most importantly, we can let commuters choose to spend less time in their cars and more time doing what they want to do.